Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the tragic story of Oakland teenager, Regine Jeffries. Regine was a 16-year-old Bay Area teenager who was going to her senior year at Deer Valley High School in Antioch. Regine was friends of teenage boys Jamari Wilson and Josiah Pratt Rose, both 15. But unfortunately, both young men were swimming in a river without their life jackets and both drowned. Their bodies were later surfaced and they were pronounced dead. Out of a boat at Woodward Lake on Saturday near Oakdale. ABC 10's John Bartell was there as family members watched searchers pull the final body from the water. So both boys' bodies were found by family members here at the south side of Woodward Lake. First one was found early this morning, the second one just after 2 o'clock, and it was just about 100 yards from the shore. Many prayed that it would happen, but no one expected that it would take place right in front of their eyes. I really just wanted them to get them out the water because it's been so long. The second teen that went missing at Woodward Lake on Saturday resurfaced just a few hundred yards from his family's campsite. His best friend also found by his family earlier this morning. Josiah Rose and Jamari Wilson were best friends. The two were on a family outing. Friends say that the boys jumped out of a boat and planned to swim back to shore. The boys never made it. Josiah's mother is still trying to piece together what happened. Josiah was 15, Jamara was 16. The Oakland boys lost their friend last summer to a shooting. The recent tragedy has created a bond between the three families. Regine was a teenager with a good head on her shoulders and she was a part of a group called Girls Inc. And she was also a dancer in that group. Regine would attend the funerals of both Josiah and Jamari on June 14th, 2016. All three teenagers were even friends with Devon Ellis, an innocent teenager who I covered before. He was killed in Oakland and was killed a year prior. At Josiah and Jamari's funeral, Regine would do a praise dance and Regine's mom said she watched her daughter perform and took her to a repast after the funeral ended. The funeral service had about 3,000 attendees, a larger turnout than expected, and many guests spit on the 13th and Franklin Street outside of the Golden Lotus restaurant. This will lead to a lot of teenagers hanging out in the streets. Witnesses will later say there was some sort of fight in the streets. Moments before, two men were seen shooting into a crowd. The suspects then fled. Police will say they later talked to a lot of witnesses and they said an argument erupted among a group of men playing dice. And this will lead to guests from the funeral being caught in the crossfire. Witnesses will say they heard around six shots in a row, then seen a bunch of teenagers running away. Four people among the crowd will be shot including Regine. The other three people shot in that shooting, who ages range from their mid-teens to their early 20s, were all transported to the hospital, where they all were in stable condition and survived. But unfortunately, Regine would be transported to the hospital, where she would unfortunately die. Left an innocent 17-year-old girl dead. She was near 13th and Franklin Streets yesterday afternoon for a vigil for two teenage who, teenagers who drowned last month. When this shooting happened, ABC 7 News anchor Eric Thomas has new video of the moments after the shooting. Eric. And indeed, you're going to see that in just a second, but Oakland police are looking for the shooters who heaped tragedy upon tragedy by gunning down this young girl, as you mentioned, as a vigil for two young men who lost their lives in Stanislaw County last month. A witness shot this cell phone video of the moments immediately after the shooting that claimed a young girl's life. 17-year-old Regina Jeffries was one of dozens of teenagers taking part in a vigil near downtown Oakland. For about five minutes, they were dancing, having fun. All of a sudden, just gunshots. Three people suffered minor wounds. Regina was hit in the upper torso. I saw her down. Uh, I saw the blood on her chest. Bullets also blew out glass at a restaurant across the street. No one inside was hurt. Regina and the other young people had just come from a funeral for two Oakland teens. 15-year-old Jamari Wilson and 15-year-old Josiah Pratt Rose both drowned in a Stanislaus County reservoir over the Memorial Day holiday. Pastor Kevin Hope presided over the memorial service and was shocked when he heard about the senseless killing. There's just a sense in which I believe a lot of our young people have just been desensitized to the value of life, to the meaning of life. The vigil then moved from the church on 66th Avenue to the downtown area. Police say a fight preceded the gunfire and after the fight broke up a car pulled up and at least one possibly two shooters opened fire this is a very tragic incident for our city police are asking anyone with information on the killing to give them a call 
In Oakland, Eric Thomas, ABC7 News. Reginae's mother, Onika, said she called her daughter at 525 and asked her if she was okay. And she said yes. Shortly after, she got a phone call that her daughter had been shot at 536 p.m. Reginae died going to the funeral of her friends and she was the 39th murder in Oakland that year with the total ending at 85. Many people organized peace walks in Reginae's honor and even her cousin, Oakland rapper, Project Papa, will make a song in her honor called Nay World. Regine Jeffries, it gets underway at 11 o'clock this morning, Dave, at Axe Full Gospel Church in Oakland. All right, Alex Savage in Oakland. Thank you. Time is 7.15. Meantime, East Bay Congresswoman Barbara Lee taking part in that sit-in at the U.S. Capitol says she, as you see here, she has a photo of Regine Jeffries with her tweeted out she is staying on the House of Representatives floor on behalf of that 16-year-old shooter. Nay's killer was never caught, even though it was numerous witnesses at the scene. R.I.P. to her. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.